a good question to ask oneself is why is inequality indeed a problem in modern capitalism? So if rich people can use their own hospitals, use their own schools, live in gated communities, that is too much inequality when they can buy elections. The super rich are uh, qualitatively different from the rest of us. For most of us, the bulk of our income is just labor income. But when you go to the very top, capital gains become incredibly important. The fraction of the economy's aggregate income that goes to workers has been declining, while the fraction of income going to capital owners has been growing. We estimate that, in fact, about half of total capital gains never get taxed, uh, even in the US. Democracy was supposed to be the solution to that. Um, uh, balancing these things that if a substantial part of the population are unhappy, they should be able to kick out the kick out the leaders and get new policies. A lot of debates have suggested a direct link between inequality and the rise of radical parties in our democracies. Is there a way of smoothly moving to a new age or is this just something that happens and it's inevitable and we have to learn to live with it and fiddle around the edges as best we can? We have to remember that, you know, the now rich countries in which most of us live um, would not have gotten to where they are without a capitalist system of some sort. There is this duality between essentially what is the decline of the West and rising inequality in Western countries, which is negative development for the West, and the globally generally positive development, mostly because of the rise of Asia. Inequality is threatening mainstream politics where people fear that they and their children will not be able to keep up. So addressing these inequalities politically requires investing in the chances of people to build good lives for themselves and for their children. One proposal uh, we've seen to deal with this, especially at the very top, is to have a wealth tax. And here in Switzerland, we're a big exception. We already have a wealth tax in place. Despite the emergence of a UBI as a possible policy tool, uh, our view is that actually there is a, an alarming gap in formal quantitative analysis. What will this do to the economy? We should prefer a wealth tax to a capital gains tax because the wealth tax encourages the reallocation of capital from unproductive uh, people who are just sitting on idle wealth to productive entrepreneurs who have great ideas what to do with it, how to invest it and therefore earn high rates of return. Many, many argue that we should do something about it, though uh, the we in this public policy, as always, is not really very well defined.